my god! What's going on, fellow crafting outside? And welcome back to another video. My name is Creek, and it is time for another episode of Prank Wars right here in Minecraft. Now, we're here outside of Cineag's base. His base is still covered with buttons. It seems like he, um, uh, you know what? Honestly, I probably wouldn't clean this up either. It, it's a nice, it's a nice aesthetical, you know, it raises the property value of your place for sure. For sure. It, it's, it's looking great. It's looking awesome. But, um, a little birdie told me, actually, Cineag himself told me, um, apparently there's a little something waiting for me back at my base. Apparently he pranked me back. So, what we're going to be doing this episode is I'm going to go check out my base. Hopefully don't get it all blown up because apparently he, he pranked it. And, um, and then we're going to go prank some other people. It should be pretty cool. Should be pretty fun. And, and yeah. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just go in and slash kill myself. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Um, because all I have is iron armor. I don't really need any of this stuff. And we'll just go back to our base. Never mind. I can't do that. So I think we're just going to walk back to our base. Let's do that. So I'm coming up on Sally's base right now. And it looks like, uh, looks like she still has a little bit of a, of a door problem. A little bit. Um, <laughs> there's still a tad bit of a door problem there. But that's fine. That's fine. I mean, everyone has, has some issues every now and then. So we're going to head back on this way. I just wanted to go check out her base and see what was going on. See if she got those doors cleaned up. Maybe we should come back and clean up those doors for her. Maybe we should do that. That'd be a nice, a nice thing to do. Maybe she wouldn't prank me if I did that. I don't know. We'll see. But when we're going to head back to our base now, I need to collect some materials for the prank I'm going to... Well, I'm planning on doing today. Hopefully it goes out well. And then we're going to see what Cineac has in store for us back at our base. So let's do it. All right. So I'm nearing my base right now. And the sound is glitching out. That... What? 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 Oh my god. You forgot your buttons at my base. Gotcha, fam. What is that noise? What is that noise? What is that noise? Um. <laughs> no one is safe. Uh, thanks. Um. You thought you would push my buttons, but no. What pushes my buttons more is when I get. A song repeating in my head. Hello, <laughs> much love, Sainik. What in the world is that? Oh my god. What is that? What in the world? My head! Oh my god! 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 Wow. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. Wow. 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 Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. What in the world? What in the world? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, where's this at? There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That's great. Thanks, Cineac. Thank you very much, man. That is hilarious. That is great. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's the most like annoying thing. Oh my god. Here, I'll put the button back. Why not? I have a nice little door for my house now. Bonk. All right. Put a button. Um. There we go. Great. Great. I've gotten button ties again. Fantastic. All right. All right. So I've got some cool things in store for this episode. So um, because the last episode was like 30 minutes long, I thought it was a little bit too long. I went ahead and collected some resources that I'm going to use for this prank. Um, I've got some redstone. I've got some tripwire. And I spent like the last hour hunting creepers for some TNT. I didn't think you guys wanted to watch me uh, hunt creepers for an hour. So I went ahead and got some TNT. We've got two TNT. Hopefully that is enough to do some damage to someone. And um, not too much to their property, but a little bit. Just just, just tad bit. I want to up the uh, the pranks a little bit here. But um, there's a dude that we pranked in the very first episode with a sign. And I wanted to give him a little bit something else other than just a sign. Maybe a little bit of TNT. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to his base. And I'm going to come up with some sort of like TNT contraption 
that we can use to basically prank him with. And hopefully no one gets mad because I don't think we're supposed to blow up people's bases, but uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's just head on over here to Dylan's uh, little treehouse. There it is right there. All right, so immediately I see something that um, I didn't see before, and that is a ladder that goes all the way down into the ground. And I wonder what that is. I've never actually, never actually seen that before. So let's go check that out and see what that is. Maybe we can maybe put something in that that'll trap them. Um, because we don't want it to be too obvious here with the TNT, because it is a floating sky base. You don't want it to be too obvious. So let's head in here. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. Don't fall, Creekcraft. Don't fall. And let's eat some apples real quick. And let's see. Hey, he still has his sign. He still has the, hi, Dylan, I love you, Creekcraft sign. Awesome. Dylan's home. No here, Brian allowed. Okay, luckily we're not here, Brian. He's still got the buttons. <laughs> Creek, Creek, Creek was here. Yay! <laughs> He's still got the buttons. That is amazing. All right, so... What can I do with some tripwire and some TNT? What I could do is I could put tripwire here and here. And then whenever he walks in, boom, TNT. The problem with that, though, is I'd have to hide the TNT underneath the floor. And this shoe there is that it's just a tree. I'm afraid he would see that if he was coming into his base. The second issue is it might blow up this chest with stuff in it, and I don't want to hurt him too bad. And then the, the biggest issue is if he's already in his base, he's going to see the tripwire, and it's not going to work. So we need we need maybe something else. Let's go, uh, let's check on, check on, let's check on down here, see what this thing is. Whoa, what is this? This is new. This is new. This is, let's go all the way down here. Here we go. All right, all the way down, all the way down. Into whatever this is. Whoa! This guy's got like a Castlevania setup going on down here. What is this? What? Oh! Oops. 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 I'm always breaking other people's stuff by accident. I am so sorry. There's his nether portal and everything. I am sorry. I'm so- oh, wait a minute, ooh. Ooh. I have an idea. I have an idea. Alright, hold on a second. What if I do this? What if we do this? And we mine this out here like this. Oh, this is gonna work. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, I got it, guys. I got it. Because he's gonna come down here to go to his base, to go to his nether portal, and get his materials, right? And to check up on this. That I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He had this elaborate setup to like open the doors and I just blew it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my bad. All right. Hold on. Let's get some uh, cobblestone. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to, let's see, how much string do we have? We have a uh, seven string. Okay. Seven string should be plenty. Let's go like this. Let's put this here. Um, like so. And then let's put this here like so. And then we can put the trip wire. Right, uh, let's see, right there, and then right there. Okay, so now what's going to happen is he is going to fall down here, activate the tripwire, and it's going to set off some TNT, which is going to be right behind here. So let's mine this out a little bit, and we need to set up some TNT. So let's go all the way behind his ladder, which should be right there. There's his ladder. Okay, cool. And now we need to mine this out. So it should be... Let's see, it should be this one here, and this one here. Alright, easy peasy. Now we're just going to put some TNT down. Um, oh, how am I going to do this without... I, I, I've got to get out of here and not set off the trap at the same time, right? So we'll do that like this. We'll just mine up this way, and I have an idea. Okay, easy peasy. So we're going to put some TNT down here. Okay, there's TNT. Now we're going to take some string, and we're going to put some string there... And there, and there we go. So now, hopefully this doesn't set off the TNT. It doesn't, okay. So he's gonna fall down, hit the trap, TNT goes, bloom, awesome, great. Now we need to set up some redstone that will activate the TNT. So let's mine this out a little bit more here, and hopefully this is gonna work. Um, Let's see, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna, I might need to put the, the trap back a little bit more, actually, let's do that. I'm going to need to put this back just a tad bit more in order for this to work. Well, in order for it to work easily, so that's not a big deal. 
Okay, so let's put this back. Let's go one more here. Let's go here. And then we'll go back one more on this side to here. All right, cool. And now we're just going to pop this. I think it's right here, actually, is a good spot. All right. Put one. Where's my... Where that? Here? Okay, awesome. Pop this here. And then we're going to come over here and pop this one. That is two blocks away. That's two blocks away. We'll put it right here. Like that. Okay. Now this isn't going to be an issue. Now we need some string. We're going to attach this to this. Let's see. Bada bing. And bada boom, bada boom. All right. Cool. That works. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take some redstone. And we're going to run it all the way to this block right here like that. And then same on the other side. Just like this. Okay, cool. This is going to be great, guys. It's going to be good. This is going to be amazing. I just broke my pickaxe. Crap. I need a um, I need a something to make a pickaxe with. Here we go. And let's take that. There we go. We have a pickaxe. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is going to be amazing. All right. So this is going to go from here all the way down to here like so. And this should hopefully work. This should hopefully work here. All right. So we're going to take some redstone, and actually, before we put the TNT down, because I don't want it to blow up just yet, <laughs> that would be bad, um, we're just going to try this out. So this goes, redstone goes here, all the way to here. This activates, activates that, it's going to hit the TNT. Okay, this goes here like this, that activates all of that, boom, TNT goes, boosh. okay, cool, awesome. So now what we need to do is we need to fill this back in a little bit, so that he doesn't know what's going on. Um, let's go like this. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There's the redstone. And we can... Oh, crap. That's not... Wait, is that gonna work? That's not gonna work. That, um... That makes it go crazy. Okay. That works like that. Fantastic. Pop that back in. He's not gonna know a thing. He's not gonna know anything is up or wrong with anything here. And we're just gonna fill this back up. Now, hopefully... Hopefully, he doesn't come from this way. If he comes from this way, we're screwed. But if he comes down, we've got him. So, what we're going to do... Now, what we're going to do... Okay, he's going to come down, hit the trap. Boom, activate the TNT. Oh, God. Here we go, guys. Hopefully, this works. Hopefully, this works. We're going to plunk the TNT there and there. And the trap's armed. The trap is armed. So, now what we're going to do, we're just going to get up out of here without activating that. Just build right on up, like so. You know what? We're actually going to uh, fill this in. Because what's going to happen is... Wait, I have a great idea. I have a great idea. He's not going to be able to get away. Because if he falls down into the water, he's going to activate it. And we don't want him to be able to get away. So what we're going to do, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to break this up so that there's no way that he can get out of here. And the blast is contained long enough for him to actually die and blow up. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fantastic. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do this. This way, he can't actually, um, he has to come down and activate it. Um, so now, no matter what way he falls down, he's going to activate that trap. And it's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. Let's pop that there. And let's get out of here. Oh, 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 you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Oh, snap. Oh, hopefully this is good. Hopefully this works, guys. Hopefully this works. Oh, I feel so mischievous now. Can we get out? Oh, there's glass here. Okay. There's glass. They're great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Boom. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Prank Wars. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give it a like on your way out. It really does help me out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos of this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to turn on all notifications. That way, YouTube will notify you whenever new live streams and videos go out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave any prank suggestions down in the comments below. And I'll take a look at them and maybe just do yours. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!